Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're talking about scrubbing audio and using a MIDI controller and a mouse to do it. So scrubbing audio is where you take the play cursor and you just move it over a bit of audio and it plays that slowly so you can isolate uh, specific noises and things like that. Here's an example of that. You can move it very slowly and precisely uh, find a spot without zooming in really close. And you can kind of just do it by ear, the old school way, the way that you used to do it on tape. So scrubbing audio can be done by dragging the play cursor over your audio left and right. You can also set it up with the mouse. So I'm going to hold down my modifier, move my mouse wheel. It's actually the magic mouse. So I'm just dragging a finger uh, up and down to uh, scrub. With the mouse wheel, it's not quite as precise. There's specific steps that happen with the mouse wheel, but there are some things you can change to tweak that behavior, make it a little less sensitive. And we can also assign it to a MIDI controller. So I'm going to reach over to my uh, MIDI keyboard and turn a knob there. And this one has steps as well, but it's a little more precise than, um, than with the mouse wheel. There's a few things involved with this. The first is actually assigning the actions. So we'll open the action list, actions menu, show action list. And we're going to search for scrub. And what we're looking for here is transport scrub slash jog find control. I have that assigned to command option mouse wheel and also have it assigned to the MIDI controller channel 3CC62. So that links Reaper to your hardware device to do this. I found the default preferences to not really be ideal for this situation. So I'll show you the preferences that I ended up with for doing this. So by default, the scrub mode controller sensitivity is at 100. I've got that turned all the way down to 1. Limit jog rate of 1, limit scrub rate of 1, and that just means that it's not going to pitch shift um, as you're changing the, the audio. So I'll, I'll show you that with it off. So... It's playing it slower and it's... it's uh, pitching it down. We can force it to stay at the correct pitch. So it plays it slower, but it keeps it at the correct pitch. And then we need to change this when moving edit cursor via action or control service, we need to change this to scrub mode instead of do not scrub. Now when playback is stopped, it's going to be in scrub mode, but when it's going, it's going to be in jog mode. And that lets you quickly jump ahead or behind uh, where the cursor is to uh, reset the cursor and then and depending on your settings it's going to then jump to it so I'll, I'll hit play i'll move my controller and you'll see where it goes so in options menu i do have smooth seek turned on smooth seeking seek at end of measure you turn that off it's going to be more uh, it's it's going to jump to that new location almost instantly again that works with the controller if that works with mouse wheel or it would work with a trackpad whatever you have assigned to that action transport scrub slash jog find control MIDI CC relative only. So that's how you set up scrubbing and jogging with a mouse wheel or with a MIDI controller in Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.